What's up guys? This is Engineer Jack. Ngayon yung pag-uusapan natin dito sa presentation sa Soil Mechanics or sa Geotechnical Engineering 2 is the Secondary Consolidation Settlement or ito yung part na after ng Primary Consolidation Settlement. So balikan muna natin guys yung components of settlements. We have the total settlement na ang symbol natin is ST. SE naman for immediate settlement or elastic. SC for primary consolidation settlement. And SS naman for secondary consolidation settlement. So yung total is the summation of ng tatlong ito. So nagkakaroon tayo guys ng secondary consolidation settlement due to the gradual changes in the particulate structure of the soil. And it, it occurs very slowly long after the primary consolidation is completed and it is time dependent. This is most significant in saturated soft clay and organic soils and peats. Or ito yung mga organic soils or from organic matter or ito yung mga nabubulok. Kaya mas importante yung secondary consolidation settlement sa mga malalambot na soil. So the ratio of secondary to primary consolidation increases as the ratio of its stress increment to initial stress decreases. Or yung SS natin or the secondary settlement and the SC or the primary consolidation settlement, uh, yung ratio niyan, habang nag-increase, nagdi-decrease naman yung ratio ng change in P all over PO. Ang change in P nga natin, this the additional pressure or surcharge na ginagamit natin na term. And yung PO natin, this the vertical effective pressure na, na initial. So according to Braha Emdas, or ito yung siya yung author ng Principles of Geotechnical Engineering, the secondary settlement is more important in organic and highly compressible in inorganic soils. Or ito, yung mga, ito nga yung mga malalambot na soils natin. And in over-consolidated inorganic clays, the secondary consolidation index is very small and of less practical importance. So yung, uh, pag yung soil natin is over-consolidated or yung, yung PO natin is less than the past effective stress or yung PO is less than PC, uh, that is over consolidated clay, ay uh, yung secondary consolidation index or it is the slope of the, the loading curve, it is very small and that's why uh, neglected na yung secondary consolidation settlement pag over consolidated yung clay natin or yung soil. So as you can see dito sa next slide, uh, meron tayong relationship between the void ratio and time na yung time natin is nakalogarithm scale. So meron tayong loading curve, ito yung kulay blue na line and this represents the variation of void ratio and time na nakalogarithm scale nga. So ngayon, uh, meron tayong secondary compression index or ito yung slope of this line na equivalent yan sa rise over run na change in E all, all over the difference of P2 over T1. And we have a formula of SS or the secondary settlement na equal yan sa change in E times H or this is the height of the clay layer uh, all over 1 plus EP where EP is the void ratio at the end of the primary consolidation. So sa last video guys, yung uh, instead na EP, yung symbol natin doon is EF or the final void ratio. Ngayon, para makuha yan guys, uh, as you can see, meron tayong dalawang lines dito na uh, dash lines. Ano yan, mga tangent lines yan sa curve natin and kung saan sila nag-intersect, doon natin makukuha yung EP or yung void ratio nga at the end of the primary consolidation. Doon din guys, makukuha natin yung time T1 or ito yung time na nag-end, yung ano natin, yung primary consolidation settlement. So, para makuha nga natin guys yung slope of this curve or ito yung line na to guys, no? The dash lines. Ito yung C alpha natin. And equivalent yung C alpha natin or the secondary compression index sa rise over run equal yan sa change in E kasi rise natin is change in E all over the difference of uh, kaso nga guys, uh, naka-logarithm scale tayo kaya naka-logarithm of T2 minus logarithm of T1. Na meron tayong logarithm law na yung difference ng logarithm equivalent yan sa, sa ratio. Equivalent yan sa logarithm of T2 2 over T1. So, pag inayos natin guys, meron tayong change in E or the change in void ratio equivalent sa C alpha or the secondary compression index, the logarithm of T2 over T1. So, finally guys, uh, substitute natin guys itong value dito. So, meron na tayong final formula para sa secondary consolidation settlement na C alpha H all over 1 plus EP, the logarithm of T2 over T1. Where C alpha nga is the secondary compression index, H is the thickness of the clay layer, T2 and T1 are time, na yung T1 natin is the time of completion of the primary settlement. Kung saan nga tapos guys, yung ano natin, yung primary settlement, yun yung T1. And yung EP 
isipin natin is the void ratio of the end of primary consolidation. Para makuha natin yan, sabi ko kanina, yung ipin natin, ito yung final void ratio para sa primary consolidation settlement na equal yan sa the initial void ratio or EO minus the change in void ratio. And yung change in void ratio natin, kinukuha natin ito sa primary consolidation settlement. Kasi nga, di ba, ay yung EP natin uh, due to primary. Kaya dapat, yung primary din yung change in void ratio natin. Ngayon, uh, ano bang value ng C alpha? So, yung value ng C alpha is for over-consolidated clays, meron tayong 0.001 or less. So, as you can see, napakaliit ng C alpha natin for over-consolidated clay. Kaya nga, sabi ni according to Bradas, uh, neglected na yan. Halos sa sobrang liit ng C alpha, syempre, liliit din yung ano natin, yung value ng settlement natin for secondary. And pwede na natin i-neglect na yun kasi sobrang liit lang eh. And for normally consolidated clays naman, uh, nag-range na man yung C alpha natin to 0.005 to 0.03. And for organic soil, na mas importante nga to guys na soil kasi mas malambot yung soil natin, mas malaki yung value ng C alpha, kaya nga 0.04 or greater than. Kaya for organic soils, uh, mas malaki yung value ng secondary consolidation sa settlement natin. Kasi nga, malalaki yung values ng C alpha. So mag-solve tayo guys ng example problem. So for normally consolidated clay layer in the field, the following values are given. So, we have the thickness of clay layer na 2.6 meters or ito yung H. Void ratio na or the initial void ratio EO equals sa uh, 0.8. The compression index or CC na equal sa 0.28. Uh, the average effective pressure on the clay layer or PO is equivalent to 127 kilopascal or kilonewton per square meters. We have also the change in pressure na or the surcharge na equivalent sa 46.5 kilopascal or kilonewton per square meters. And meron tayong secondary compression index na C alpha ang equivalent sa 0.02. Ngayon, yung tanong, what is the total consolidation settlement of the clay layer 5 years after the completion of primary consolidation settlement? Uh, note, the time for completion of primary settlement is 1.5 years or ito yung T1 and yung T2 natin is 5 years. So, sige guys, isolve natin. So, ito yung given natin. And your record nga is the total consolidation settlement after 5 years. So, solution, yung total consolidation consolidation settlement natin is equivalent sa summation of primary and the secondary settlement or SC plus SS. Na meron tayong formula for SC na primary settlement equivalent yan sa CCH all over 1 plus EO logarithm of PO plus change in P all over PO. And yung secondary settlement natin is equivalent naman sa SS na yung formula niya is C alpha H all over 1 plus EP logarithm of T2 over T1. So first, solve muna natin guys yung primary settlement. So, meron tayong CC of 0.28 and yung H natin is 2.6 meters or ginawa ko guys na millimeters na para yung value natin na makuha is millimeters na all over 1 plus void ratio initial na 0.8 and times logarithm of yung PO natin is 127 and change in P is 46.5 so 127 plus 46.5 all over 127 so meron tayong SC or the primary settlement na 54.8 millimeters so, yun yung guys yung primary. Ngayon, yung isolve naman natin guys yung secondary settlement na yung formula nga is SS equivalent sa C alpha H all over 1 plus EP logarithm of T2 all over T1. And yung EP natin or ito yung final void ratio natin or at the end of the primary settlement void ratio uh, equivalent yan sa the initial void ratio minus the change in E or the change in void ratio from primary settlement. And yung change in E nga natin is equal, equal yan sa for primary settlement equal yan sa compression index CC logarithm of PO plus change in P all over PO. So, solve muna natin guys yung change in E na equal yan sa CC natin is 0 0.28 times logarithm of 1.27 plus 46.5 all over 1.27. So, meron tayong change in E na 0 0.03794. So, masasobra naman natin guys yung uh, final void ratio or EP o uh, equal yan sa 0 0.8 na yung EO natin, the initial void ratio minus yung change in E na yung EP natin now is 0 0.76206. So, we can solve now the secondary settlement. So, meron na tayong la, uh, value ng lahat. So, meron tayong C alpha 0.02. H na 2,600 millimeters. All over 1 plus EP na 0.76206. The logarithm of T2 natin is 5 years. And yung T1 natin is 1.5. So, 5 over 1.5. And, meron na 
tayong uh, value ng SS. Pag kinalculate natin, meron tayong value na 15.43 mm. So ngayon, yung total consolidation natin is the summation of, of that primary and secondary na meron tayong 54.8 plus 15.43 mm. So yung sagot natin is 70.23 mm. So that's it guys. Uh, yun muna yung pag-usapan natin dito sa secondary consolidation settlement. That's it. Thank you very much.